Hi right, guys, how are you all doing? This is MJ2 Reviews, bringing the best in model kit reviews. How are you all doing? <laughs> Hope you all keeping great. Well, today I've actually started the B52, so this is going to be the progress review part one. And here is where I came so far. So I've took all the bits out and stuff. And this is where I've come. This thing is absolutely massive, guys. It is huge. And um, I put it all together. This thing took a lot of glue um, to actually fit it on and stuff. So just as you can see, this thing is enormous. And um, I've done all the cockpit area out and stuff, which I'm going to paint inside of it eventually and stuff. And then I'm going to fill these in underneath. Um, there's actually parts that you clip on. I've just fitted the wing support in. Um, so that thing there can hold the wings. It's just massive, guys. Absolutely massive. And I've just uh, tested the size of it out against um, my Fifi. And so I'll just put that down. I've tested it out up here. Now there's my Fifi there. Um, B29 Super Fortress. And it's, it's bigger than that, guys. So... I'm going to take that middle plane down there, I'm going to move that, and I'm going to move them two at the side of it. And uh, the V-52 will go there, in the middle. So you can just get a sense of how uh, big it is. I've got to put that wing together yet. And then both of the wings will go on once I've fitted the engines on and stuff. So there is quite a lot to do. Now I've got the decals to do and the painting to do, which is going to take a lot. So that's why I said this is uh, progress part one. Um, so these are the other parts that I'm doing um, I don't know whether to put that part on or there's a nice little gun part here which looks alright um, but I'm going to be putting one of those on these are the things that go underneath that clip part that I told you at the front where the fuselage is so there's going to be a lot that I'm going to be putting on this uh, kit and then I've got the engines here, I think. These go underneath, yeah, because these are clip on the wings there. And then the engines go on. So the engines are going to go on the wings. And then I've got these things here to go on. So let me uh, put that over there. So I've got these tail flaps to go on. And these will go on at the back there, as you can see, the back of the wing. And then these will go underneath the wings as well what i'm going to try and do with this kit guys is i'm going to try and find them um, the bombs um because i'm going to try and add bombs to it and um, because there was no bombs uh, with the kit um i'm going to try and uh, do that because i think it'll just add a bit more style to it and it'll make it look better and there's the uh, front cockpit so i'm going to mask all that up and i'm going to get all that done out nice um what else i've decided to do guys is i'm not going with the basic gray scheme because there's different schemes on here now a lot of people have been telling me um to go with the normal american scheme which is what color it is now like a basic dark gray i don't really want to go with the dark gray guys i've decided i want to do this one um which is like the v like a vietnam style which is the one I'm trying to perfect. Even though... Um, I don't know, guys, if you've seen the Ravel um, Super Fortress... Um, I mean, the Stratus Fortress um, B-52D. Um, it's very, it's a very expensive kit. The last time I saw it, was around, I think it was around about £159 something. Which is massively expensive um definitely over the top for me to afford <laughs> but um it, it's there's a picture online that shows a picture of the vietnam style one and it's all like like a green color and like a dark green and a light green and all that on it and bits of black on it and stuff and it looks absolutely amazing guys and i thought that you know something that's what i want this one to look like so i'm gonna go for it um so i've decided on that uh, scheme as well so like i said when this is all done it's gonna go in the middle up there next to the b17 and the b29 so it's just absolutely massive i just couldn't believe the size of it when um i've built it all up so 
I reckon it's going to take about maybe about six progress re uh, videos of this. Six progress videos, definitely, uh, to get it all done, guys. Um, but don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll um, it'll be all with you step by step. Don't worry. Um, it's going to take a lot of paints as well. I mean, I'm going to... I'm dreading that, guys. I'm going to have to spend a ton of money on them paints. I, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm going to have to price those up at my model shop. And I'm dreading that as well. Um, because this is going to take a lot of paint. A lot. Uh, the wings are massive just themselves. So, <laughs> anyway. I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching um, this progress video of this massive B-52. Um... And I just want to show you one more thing before I do go. Just to prove to use how big this thing really is. So here we go. There is my Fifi that I did. Uh, the B29. So I just put that up. And you see guys. It's actually bigger than it. And once the wings go on. <laughs> It is going to be absolutely massive, guys. Massive. So, I'm looking forward to getting it done. Especially for you guys. So, like I said, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you've got any comments, please uh, put it down in the link below. And I will get back to you. And uh, please do subscribe, guys, because it really does mean a lot. I've noticed I've got about 158 uh, subscribers. Guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, that really means the world to me. That um, if you can uh, <laughs> give up your time and space just to watch my reviews, I know I'm not the best uh, vlogger or the best reviewer in the world, but I do try my best to get these uh, models kit reviews out to you. And who knows, maybe you'll buy them yourself, and you'll know what I mean when you buy them. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching and. I'll see you in the next progress review of this massive B-52, guys. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye now.